Next up, Iowa State Cyclones. Eight and five last year, six and three in the conference. They return seven starters on offense, seven starters on defense. Number one most experienced in the conference. Number 16 most experienced in the country. Head coach Matt Campbell, 19 and 19 in, uh, in three years, 54 and 34 overall. That includes his time at Toledo. He is building something serious in Ames, but the offense has got to catch up to the defense. Uh, number 96 total offense last year, number 82 scoring. They get quarterback Brock Purdy back and the entire offensive line, but you got to figure out who's going to replace David Montgomery and wide receiver Hakeem Butler, right? David Montgomery, the uh, the running back. I think they're going to be able to find somebody to fill in his shoes. Hakeem Butler, though, was legit. Um, so we'll see if they've got the skill players to be able to uh, to do anything. Number 33, total offense. Or sorry, total defense. I was going to say, it's got to be defense. Number 14, rushing defense. And that's massive, right? That's right. Uh, they returned five of their front seven, the entire defensive line. Uh, but only two defensive backs back for the number 72 passing defense. So already not a great passing defense, and you're coming in with inexperience. But if they were already kind of bad, again, we've said this a thousand times, maybe that's not a bad thing, right? So we'll see. And, and I, I think a more experienced front seven is going to help that back in. Yes. I, I mean, I, I just think that's how defense goes. If you told me I had a bunch of money to spend on a defense in the NFL, I would spend it all on the front seven. Yeah. And I would throw any athletic dudes I could on the back end and just say, figure it out. Because yeah. if they get on the back, it doesn't matter. I think I think you're right. Uh, 11 players are back that received postseason All Big 12 awards. The schedule is brilliant. I love this team. Yeah, for, for a Big 12 title run. Now, I do love this team, but... I also think they're going to lose one somewhere that they shouldn't. That they shouldn't. Man. Um, okay. I've got them. At, uh, the over under is eight for them. Okay. Over is minus one twenty five. Under eight is plus one hundred five. So they think it's more likely that they'll hit nine as opposed to seven. I got them at nine and three. I got them nine and three as well. Um, if we had a real producer, he would yell at us all the time. Yeah, because we, we, there's no controversy with, yeah. with some of these. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I've got them losing at Baylor. I think they're going to beat Iowa this year at home. Uh, I've got them losing at Baylor, but then beating TCU, uh, lose, or beating uh, West Virginia on the road. But then I've got them losing at Texas Tech. And I think that's the one where they're going to slip up. Uh, then I think they come back home. They beat Oklahoma State. They got a bye week. I've got them beating Oklahoma. But then I've got them losing at home against Texas because having those games back-to-back, I think they're going to put everything they got into the road game at Oklahoma. Okay. And then you come back home, you're feeling a little better about yourself, everything's good, and then I think Texas is talented enough to come in and beat them. But then close out with wins over Kansas and at Kansas State. 9-3, and 6-3 and three in the conference. It would not shock me in the slightest to see them come out and actually win, uh, at, at least get to the Big 12 title game. That's right. And if you get there, of course you got a shot to win it. That's right. I I completely agree. I got them nine and three. I actually have them losing to Iowa. It's at Iowa. That wouldn't surprise me if they win that. Well, no, game. no, that one's it's at home. It's in Ames. Oh, it is at Ames. That's right. Yeah, it's in Iowa last year. It wouldn't surprise me if they win that. That's a coin flip game. Um, and I I don't like picking lo- winners and losers all the time. I think they do come away with a win against Oklahoma or Texas. I don't see them losing both of those games. You got me curious about whether it's at Iowa. It is. It's at no. It's at Iowa State. It's on the schedule right here. Yeah. Okay. So it's okay. They're they're at home. I just read it okay. wrong, and I knew that. I just read it wrong. Okay. Um. All right. So nine and three. We both got them nine and three. I, we both have them nine and three. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I love it. I love this team. I love Matt Campbell. I think they're going to be really good this year. Uh. I really like Brock Purdy. Me too. Really like Brock Purdy. Tough, tough kid. Yes. 